Good morning everybody. It is a little bit of a cooler day today. Um, very overcast as you can see. We've already had a little bit of rainfall and I'm on my way with my wife into the Ananda area. Just had a guy call me to say that he's got a really large snake in his uh, goat's cage. Um, yeah, this could be a mamba, could be a python, but I'm thinking it's going to be a python because I don't see why a mamba would have any business going into a goat's cage. I mean, the goats are obviously way too big. But pythons regularly go into goat's cages and, and often will actually eat a goat. And he says that the snake has eaten something, so maybe he did have some smaller baby goats in there. Maybe it's eaten a goat, I'm not sure. Anyhow, we are on the way and should be there in the next 20-30 minutes. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, so there we have it. Uh, it's confirmed, it is a python. The guy has just sent me a photograph of it sitting in his in the in the cage. Uh, looks like it could be a, a decent size one. I can't really make out by the picture, but yeah, it is definitely one and uh, something different for a change for you guys. Something different for me for a change. I haven't caught a python in quite a while. As you can see, we are really really. In the rural areas here where the roads are just totally a disaster. Flipping off. In this country we don't drive on the left hand side of the road, we drive on what's left of the road. Flipping off. Jeepers. And I must tell you guys, I don't charge for these call-outs in the rural areas um, if they're black mambas and pythons. Uh, if it's black mambas, it's because people's lives are in danger, you know, if the snake is in the house. And if it's a python, I'm doing it for free because pythons are highly protected. The people out here don't have money. So if you're going to tell them you're going to charge them a fee to come out, they'd rather just kill it. We don't want that. So I do these call-outs for free. But they are always miles and miles away, you know. You've got to travel like to get to them and then get back home. You've done like 80, 90, 100 kilometers, maybe even more. You haven't been paid a cent, so it's come out of your pocket. Uh, but yeah, we do it for the, the well-being of the people and the well-being of the animal as well. Um, you just got to do what you got to do. And... Uh, as you can see, the car also um, takes a beating, especially when you're coming in out. In 300 meters, continue straight. When you're coming out to these areas, the roads are so bad. Often you have to go on dirt roads as well. Your shock absorbers take a pounding. Your tires take a pounding. Uh, it's just not good for the car. So yeah, um, as much as I don't like doing calls where, continue I'm, straight. where I'm not being paid, Unfortunately, we we have to do them from time to time. Anyway, let's get there. Let's catch a python. <laughs> you got pedestrians of a different kind to watch out for you. <laughs> the people out here might be living in pretty harsh conditions without electricity and without water and all that kind of thing. But I can tell you now, they live in the best part of the country. Slight right then. Continue straight. The views and the scenery around you are just amazing. Some more pedestrians. Hey goats. is the Ananda Dam. Like 
I said, the scenery out here is flipping amazing. And we're almost there, guys, about a minute away, apparently, according to the GPS. Okay, guys, we have arrived at the person's home, and he's going to take us through, show us where the python is. Let's just grab a few things here, babe. Um, oh, I've, I've just one of those black bags, the big ones. Hello. Hello. I'll take these gloves and tripod to make videoing easier, especially if you need to help me. Just to let you guys know, I'm probably going to bleed now. Probably gonna watch me bleed because <laughs> I don't particularly like restraining a python's head because they're really strong. And when you restrain the head, thanks man, when you restrain the head, they tend to wrap around you and then they poo on you as well. So, which side? Oh, this side. Oh, there it is. So what I prefer to do, that's a little one. What I prefer to do is rather just free handle it, let the head do what it wants to do. Um, because then at least you don't get pooed on. But that sometimes results in a bite. And this phone will not focus in there. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we don't go. Sorry guys, this phone is really... There it is. Hey, and you're just like parking right next to the path and you're basically like sitting on it. The path is not even biting your bum. So if, if I open here, if I, if I open here, the goat's going to run out. Is, it's okay if the goat comes out. It's just nice on this in case you need to put it down to help me. And at least you can. So. Let's put the gloves on for what it's worth. I, mean, I don't mind getting bitten on my arms, you know, in the meaty parts, but I don't like getting bitten over the hands on my fingers. Because that's kind of sore. Especially a snake of this size. Not that it's big, it's quite a small one. Come, go to Come. Come, chicken. Come, goat. Okay, you're all out now, is it like? Can I go in there now? Thank you so much. Hello, Python. What have you been eating here? That looks like a chicken. You've eaten a chicken, haven't you? That's what happens when you, you live in places like this and you've got chickens and goats, you are going to get snaky visitors. That's just par for the course. Okay. And you seem quite chilled, you're not even huffing and puffing at me. I guess you've been in the cage with um, goats that have been moving around and standing on you and sitting on you. Hey, okay? Is that why you're okay? Is that why you're okay? Hey, Mr. Parthen or Mrs. Parthen? Okay, let's, let's get you out of here. All right. Not going to like me in a minute. It's all friendly with me now. But it's going to be uncomfortable with that meal in its belly. And with me carrying it, it's going to be trying to get away. And then it's probably going to start biting. <laughs> but to be honest, I'd rather be bitten than get pooed on.
I don't want him to regurgitate this meal either. If I mess with it too much, if I mess with it too much, it's gonna regurgitate that chicken. We don't want that. Okay. Let's put that the snake in the bag. No, he's already trying to regurgitate. Get him into the bag quickly. Nah. See, even just a little bit of handling. Too much stress. Here comes the chicken. Now it wasn't even such a big meal, but unfortunately, you put these guys under the slightest bit of stress after eating, and they just regurgitate. I can tell you now that's definitely a chicken. It's too big to be a rat. Too small to be a goat. <laughs> Yeah, there comes the chicken legs. Okay, after this, the snake is not going to be very happy with me. He's probably taken a, almost an hour to get that chicken down. And uh, two minutes to spit it up. <coughs> sorry, Ka. I'm sorry, Ka. Okay, now he's going to want to get the heck out of here. Okay. <laughs> 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 Okay. There we have it. Sorry, Mr. or Mrs. Parson, that you had to lose your meal over this, but uh, I was trying to not let that happen. Right, so let's go find another new place for this guy to live where he's away from people and where he's more safe. Okay guys, so we've taken a bit of a drive out on the dirt roads that lead to like no no man's land. <clears throat> so yeah, there's a lot of area here where we can release the snake where he's you know far away from people and he should live out the rest of his life without too much of a problem I should hope. So just driving around looking for the perfect spot and then we shall do the release. And that's actually where we caught the snake is on the other side of the dam, right across on the other side there this side there's like nobody living here for a long long time or a long long way should I say it's very remote out here as you can see absolutely awesome place to release snakes like pythons
right guys so we found a nice spot out here let's just take a little walk in here and give it a new home Yeah, should be good. Let's have a look here, guys. I mean, this is where we are. There are some houses there in the distance, but that's on the other side of the dam. So, Snakey's not going to get there in a hurry. And how's this for absolutely awesome habitat? You're going to be very happy, a snake. Kissing at me. Are you crossing her? Come on. You free now? You are free, come check. Come look where we're putting you. I'd be excited if I was you. I want you to go, I want you to go this way. I can just see the plants moving, I can't hear it. I can't see it. These guys just disappear like I cannot believe. They just go into the bush and absolutely disappear. I can tell you now I could search this place for hours and I wouldn't find it. Absolutely amazing how they just vanish. There's the plant moving up ahead there. Let's just have a look if we're lucky. Yeah, here goes the tail. Here he goes. That was lucky. Where's the rest of you? It's amazing, you can hardly even hear it. I'm keeping as quiet and as still as I can. And you just can't hear them. Come on, go. Okay guys, so this is pretty much where we released the path in, just on the uh, this side uh, there somewhere. So, this is what the python has to look forward to out here. All this natural bush. Look at that. Wow. Absolutely awesome, eh, guys? You think the snake's gonna be happy at you? I certainly think so. Roadblock. 